What's going on guys? Um so here's a project I've been working on since beginning of May. Um I call it JaxGL, which is a graphics library that I wrote purely in Java. That means it's not gonna use um any anything on the graphics card at all. Um the name itself is pretty self centered. Uh if you look into the project folder you'll see that all of the objects in here have the prefix Jax in it. I did it for fun. I mean is a fun project to do anyways so um everything on here takes place on the cpu and um my cpu doesn't have a lot of cores it's only a quad core cpu so i i decided not to um multi thread it or like use multi threading on it which means that everything will just do in like one linear line there's no like um, professional pipeline like uh, most of the graphics library either and um, which is really backward right because graphics is all about doing things in parallel and and have multiple things happening at the same time and then add all this um, what is it the shaders up and you have the final image and you have frame buffers but um, in here it's just um, it renders image by image that's all it does and then um, after it renders an image it, it cleans out the buffer and it renders the next one and then once it's, once it finishes it just keep doing that sequentially which is not a good idea in graphics so um, as you can see up here it does show the um, resolution and it also show the um, FPS now there's nothing on the screen so this is the um, the frame rate in which it clears the screen, which is um, dropping black pixels in. Um, it uh, let's see. So since this is uh, a really dumb idea, don't expect a lot of um, performance out of this. Um, the CPU is not built to process graphics especially 3d graphics information anyways so to demo I will add in well our beloved teapot just in here okay so there are a few things first um, the control is like blender I stole it from blender um, you use the middle mouse button to to pan around and if you press shift with it you pan around oh, also the project is on github and you can um, see the link in the description um, so it has flat shading which is the most basic way um, the most basic kind of shading in 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 3d graphics um, it also has smooth shading and now if you check this box it will smooth out only the faces that is marked as smooth um, it only opens obj files and you know because it's the easiest um, file to parse noise so so if it only ha it has to be marked as smooth and inside of the OBJ in order to be rendered smooth here, but it also has a little checkbox called um, force smooth, which will force like it will smooth every single face it sees. So it can do simple things like smoothing. Um, it can also do lighting. Um, it has specular lighting also. Let's see. Let's look. Oh yeah, you can't really move it on screen like. Uh, oh yeah, you have to change the uh, the font exponent because you know if if you're into computer graphics, you know that uh, this exponent is what um, it raises the uh, the dot product is raised to, so it makes the uh, the reflection sharper. Um, it has tons of bugs if you look closely. Now if you turn the resolution to high resolution you'll see that it has like uh, little lines here and that is because um, I use float and you know at some point it hits like zero like the number gets close to zero and when you divide by that number it gets really big and it loses precision and it just turns out ugly so um, but that's that's you know ignorable neglectable um, so you can move the light source around to to see um, the frame rate is pretty good because um, oh yeah when you zoom in the frame rate actually drops because um, the cost per pixel is really high like on every single pixel it has to go in and calculate the luminance or illumination of that that one pixel and then 
then um, multiply that with with um, with a diffuse color on, on the on the object. So yeah, so if you zoom out, you have like 30 frames per second. If you zoom in, it drops at its lowest, six frame, five frames sometimes. Um, so you can yeah, you can do this. You can copy and paste the light sources and uh, move it over to the side. You can change the color of the light source. Like maybe maybe not like this. Maybe. Yeah. So it can do simple things like that. It can also do texture mapping. Let's see. So it has it can have multiple material. Just delete these. Okay, it can have also oh, when you don't have any light sources, it will um, it will automatically turn to like the uh, regular kind of uh, lighting, which assumes that you have a light source from you and it doesn't have any specular lighting on it. Um, but you can always add. Oh yeah, the light source can also be directional, which is uh, it can only be two kinds point light or direction light. I might add more in but you know for now I leave two. There's some another common type of light source. And you can change the direction. Um, it also you can also change the material. So if you look down here you see a list of materials and um, let me change yeah you see the guy is so shiny now because he has specular um, reflection on him. So let's go ahead and change that. Uh, let's scroll down here and see which one we have. Um, there we go. So if you turn his exponent to zero and turn his, or change the specular lighting to black, which means that there won't be any specular lighting on him, or like any reflection of the light source on him. You will see that he's not shiny anymore. Um, you can also change the color of the car. Let's see, this one changes to red. Let's see, yeah, it changes the door. Let's see. So yeah, and uh, it can do simple material. It can also um, change the alpha. So you can dim, like you can make it invisible by turning down the alpha. And um, it can also do um, normal mapping, which is which is a technique in in 3D graphics where you don't really have them. The um, so here is without normal mapping. This is just like a, a wall texture. It's nothing special. Um, you have to apply smooth on it because um, without smooth shading, it will not calculate the light per pixel. So, so it won't. It won't. Uh, it assumes all of the pixels on that one, you know, polygon has the same um, illumination. But when you force the smooth, or like when 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 the face is smooth, it will have to manually calculate the uh, light of each pixel. So yeah, and uh, the normal mapping is is um, using a texture, but the texture is not really a like it doesn't look like color, it looks like that. Um, which is a technique in, in 3D graphics where you you tell the computer, hey, the normal of, of, of this pixel is actually pointing this way and it reacts to the light the way that um, the normal is supposed to react to the light. So it gives you a more um, realistic looking material without you know having too much um, geometry, which cost may cost a lot of memory, and this way is considered faster than um, than actually having the material. Um, so I guess that's about it. Again, you can you know um, go to the link, and uh, if you want to collaborate with me or like contribute some something to the repository, you're free to just drop your um, GitHub account on the comment and uh, I'll just add you as a collaborator so yeah um, thank you for watching
if you've made it this far. Oh yeah, so I forgot one thing about it. Uh, it can also add a background in, which is, you can add like uh, an HDRI background, which is the um, a equal rectangular background. I'll show you in a minute. Say you have, you know, a 360 degree background like this. You can add it in and um, you can add an object in and angle it. Say I add a teapot in, this is way too big. But yeah, you can angle it and you can make it so that it looks like it's in the scene. And, uh, yeah, let's just. Let's see. So you can do it so that it looks like it's in the scene. And then uh, just you know pop it into a corner somewhere like that, and it looks as if it's on the table. Um, if you do the lighting right, of course. Right, so I rotate it right side to side, and a bit to the side like that. So yeah, that's that's one feature that it had. Um, it also has another feature which uh, I'm still experimenting with it. Um, it's not really official. And so you can, you can add, nope. Yeah, there are 3,000 lines of code in there. You can also add it in a draw pixel. I commented it out. So all you have to do is just um, remove the comment. This is a reflection. It, it technically it reflects the background and it looks, it looks funky. Say I have a bullet, which is a really simple mesh thing, um, and then you load background in. I'll use the same. Maybe use something else. I don't know. Mm, I don't remember what I was gonna use. Yeah. So uh, it technically it shoots a ray from the camera to the um, the pixel, and then it reflects that ray, and it searches in you know the uh, HDRI. And it makes a reflection off of it, so it, it's still experimental. I don't know if I really want to put it in, you know, the, the real project, but I will um, put it in. Oh yeah, did I tell you guys that I'm going to make a ray tracer out of this too? Yes, I'm gonna make a ray tracer, like a a, a renderer for most um, 3D rendering. What is it? 3D 3D software. So yeah, this is a reflection. Uh, so this is goodbye for real. Peace out.